Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, you can say, the next seven days. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may or may not be for you. This card just fell out. Wow, misunderstanding. So there may be a misunderstanding this week. Happens a lot, nothing new. So what do we have for some? Oh, there we go, I got another one. Mice, ooh. Discord among friends or family. Once again, nothing new. So it has to do with friends or family. There's a misunderstanding. There's some pests here. This is, I don't even know. Sometimes mice can cause a lot of damage. So there's definitely some discord. I'm really feeling like it's family discord. It could be between friends. It could be between coworkers. Oh, okay. One more. Grapes. Time to go out and have some fun. Time is ripe. Okay, it's ripe. It's time. It's time. It's time to go out and have some fun. There is a mis misunderstanding here. <laughs> so you're going to be dealing with a misunderstanding. There's going to be discord with your friends or your family. My gut says it's a family situation, but I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. Leg. Stepping into a new experience so you're going to be stepping into a new experience so that's a new beginning what do we have for Sagittarius I think you could get pushed over the edge. You know, and I don't mean literally pushed, I mean your your temper, you know, or whatever situation you're in with your friends or family, you may reach a point where, you know, you just decide that you've been up against this wall, you've dealt with this for too long, and you're gonna go out and have some fun. You know, I don't know. Discord. Hmm. What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Angel protection. There is some angel protection here for you. Six, 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 getting your life back on track. This is headed in the right direction, taking the right steps, making the right moves. This is traveling towards balance and harmony and peace and, you know, really overcoming some sort of challenges. Going to a better place, guided, angelically guided. So there's angel protection here guiding you because sixes are about movement and travel. Out of, guiding you out of a troublesome situation. Okay, we got two. Okay. Younger woman. We have a younger woman here. We also have a phone call that changes everything. So there is a phone call that changes everything. Interesting, you're gonna be receiving a phone call that changes everything. Maybe from this younger woman, maybe about this younger woman. There's a younger woman involved, somehow. What do we have for Sagittarius? One card, please. Seven of Wands. Ooh, looks like we have a protest here. We have a protest, may even be a riot. This is uh, defending, you know, trying to prove something, challenges, fighting for it, fighting for something, um, fighting for a cause, defending yourself. Could be some police involved. So, 
We could even have somebody here that is, I don't know if they're screaming and hollering and abs acting um, obnoxious that is doing something that gets them in trouble. Somebody could definitely be doing something that gets them in trouble. But there is, a, it's like doing it for a cause, right? So doing, you know, defending a point, defending a cause for a reason. And there is a misunderstanding here. So you're going to be caught in the middle or being caught off guard by some sort of opposition. It's like you're trying to defend something for your own reasons. Okay? And I feel like they're just reasons. It's something that you really believe in but you're going to be facing some opposition. You really are. Nine of Cups. Now that looks like celebrating, right? It does. It looks like celebrating to me. It's like having fun, right? Um, extremely satisfied, happy, gloating, triumphant. You know, this is, um, I don't know, I feel like we have a celebration here of some sort. Toast, some sort of toast celebration. It's almost like drinks too, drinks all around, you know what I mean? Celebrating, is it gonna be, there's a celebration here. Now he's holding the Ace of Cups, with the Ace of Cups is love, right? It's, it's a cup of love. This is happiness, it is success in some way. It's happy success. It's it's uh, really in a good place. That's your signifier card. You know, this is wish being granted, wish fulfillment. So happy with some sort of, I don't know, it looks like it's so happy. I don't know, see the rest of the cards. Ten of Wands, or Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, World. So I'm, that's in your person's energy. Now what about you? Six of Swords. Seven of Swords, Four of Wands. All of them are upright. Every single card is upright. Now, Capricorn had this as well, and that doesn't happen ever. Um, so that's interesting. <laughs> wish fulfillment, wish being granted. Has to do with family, home, foundations. There's been deception, there's been lies. Maybe you're exposing the lies or you've exposed lies. Then we have the Six of Swords, going to a better place, traveling, moving on, moving away from some sort of deceptive situation, making an escape, getting out, getting out. Um, there's been some hostilities. There's been a lot of hostilities within the family or the, the group. I feel like you could be attending a get-together soon with the Four of Wands or, you know, that maybe there's a reunion maybe there this is it it's over it's it will be ten of pentacles is the end it is it's a, it's a completion i know a lot of people don't want to hear that shit but it is really a completion uh tens are, are the end of things it's a completion okay i feel like um the world card underneath as well that's a major completion of a cycle so there's been some sort of struggle here that is coming to an end you are going to be receiving a message um, from somebody that uh, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody that is very forthright. It's probably a message that you don't want to hear. Um, it's going to catch you off guard. You are definitely going to be caught off guard by some sort of message. A cycle is ending that has, you know, uh, caused you a lot of trouble. It's caused you a lot of stress. I feel like you've really been betrayed. Probably some truth is coming out as well. There's some sort of information or truth that is coming out. 
whoever you are dealing with, um, I feel like this person is really focused on their money. They're focused on their foundation. They're focused on, uh, well, the Ten of Pentacles is all about abundance, business, money. Um, not really focused on anything but. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is kind of aggressive, you know, they're unwilling to budge, they uh, are set in their ways, they may be even immature, okay, it's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're dealing with somebody who, I'm not sure they're really your friend, they may be, they may be uh, poking you in some way, it could be a sibling. Or somebody that you live with, with the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody that you have some sort of investment in. But this cycle is coming to an end with this person, with that world card. Whoever you're dealing with is, I'm not sure if they've decided. It feels like they've made a decision because the decision is on their side. They've decided to leave something behind or decided to leave. Or maybe this has to do with money. Maybe you're getting an inheritance or you're getting some sort of money. Um... I do it with the Seven of Wands. I think that you're going to be caught off guard. You're going to be caught off guard by some sort of change. This may have to do with a family member. And, and because the Four of Wands is mirroring the Ten of Cups or home. Could be a change in a living situation. Could even be money that is coming in. Some sort of wish is being fulfilled. There's been deception. There's been lies. I think that you're going to be caught unaware. You're going to be caught off guard. It's like you're getting something that you didn't expect to get. Six of Swords. Moving on. Moving on. You're moving. You're going somewhere. I feel like you're feeling cheated. You're feeling deceived. You're feeling you're feeling um, betrayed you're be by family or friends. Somebody has been lying to you. Whoever you're dealing with is very, very arrogant, you know. They've been arrogant, but I feel like you're in for a surprise. I really, 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 really do. The world card, major completion of a cycle. Leaving the past behind, stepping into new territory. You are dealing with somebody that is... Definitely, it's like this person is ending something. They're, they're all done. They're completely done. Completely. This is a completion. A major completion. This is a change of residence. Somebody's going somewhere. They're moving. Six of Swords right next to the World card. They're mirroring each other. And this could be very sudden. I, th I feel like somebody has been doing something behind the scenes that you are unaware of. I think a message is coming that is definitely going to catch you off guard. Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate abundance. It really, really is. It's, it's something permanent. Permanent long-term stability. So you're going to be receiving something. I don't know if it's, an, if, it's, if, it's, if it's like money, like big money. You know, it could. It feels like there's big money here. <laughs> it does. It does. Ten of Pentacles is money, money, money. It is big money. It could be a handing, handing down of money or home. You have something to do with home or, or money. A wish being granted. You're going to be surprised and know that you're going to be surprised. Somebody's been lying. They have been lying about something. You're going to be receiving a phone call that changes everything. It has to do with a home or it has to do with money or a relationship even. There has been some deception here. So I don't know if you, somebody, I don't know if somebody has been cheating, lying, thieving. It looks like deceptive. It looks like cheating. I don't know if somebody has been cheating and they've been getting away with it. If that's the case, it's not, not going to happen much longer. Somebody has definitely been lying. 
lying and deceiving, going someplace. It's almost like going, going, I don't know if somebody has been going to somebody's house. Or they've been lying about a commitment. Somebody's been lying. They have definitely, it's, it's on your side. I mean, maybe you know somebody's been lying. We definitely, the Seven of Swords is lying. It's deception. It's betrayal. It's cheating. It's, it's not telling the truth. Okay, we have somebody here that's not telling the truth. They're acting without conscience. So we may have somebody here that's in a commitment and they're acting without conscience. You know, and now they're moving on because the, the the external is the six of swords. It's just going someplace, moving on, taking a new approach, going someplace. Somebody's been going someplace. They've been getting away with it, but I feel like ah, wheel of fortune reverse. Now we got a reversal. It's an unfortunate loss. It's a setback. Um. stopped it's coming to a stop something there's an unfortunate loss here it's coming to a stop something is coming to a stop somebody's been clinging to control trying to control a situation This is an unpredictable loss. Somebody could get stopped. They could get stopped. They're driving somewhere. They get stopped. And I don't know if there's, there could be even drinking and driving here with the Nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and then the Six of Swords. Those are Six of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune is about wheels. It's about moving. And then, and then we have all these cups and this Nine of Cups. I'm not sure if somebody is drinking and driving. They've been getting away with it. If they have, they probably are not going to get away with it much longer. Hmm. Shocking, unpredictable loss, unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. There's something unfortunate here. Maybe you've been hoping and praying for somebody to get caught. Somebody's going to get caught doing something. We have a very smug individual here who is, I don't know, it feels like this person is doing it up. They think that they can get away with doing whatever they want and they aren't going to get away with it much longer. It feels like this is an older man. I feel like this is an old, it could be a father figure <laughs> or somebody that is an older man. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, came right out. Hangman reverse could be dealing with the Pisces. We have Pisces, we have Sagittarius, where we did have it. We had Temperance on the bottom a minute ago. I shuffled. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There is going to be a phone call that changes everything. We have a very sly individual here that is very, very smug. It feels like this person is, I don't know if somebody's offering somebody drinks or whatever and somebody doesn't and they get and they drink and drive and they get caught. I don't know. Hangman, it could be a card of punishment, upright or reversed. Okay, there's been some sort of stagnation and this is about that cause. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves. Okay, they've been sacrificing themselves for a cause. I feel like it's all coming to an end. It is definitely all coming to an end. You're about a new perspective. A change is coming. It's, I think it's positive. Even with this Wheel of Fortune reverse, I think it's a positive change. I really, really, really do. I feel like um, you've been dealing with somebody that is very smug, that is very, very cocky. This person has a huge ego. I feel it. And they think that they can do whatever they want. They think that they can get away with whatever they want. They aren't going to. They are not. They are not going to. You're, they're going to be caught off guard. They're going to get caught. Somebody is getting caught doing something. We, this is somebody that is definitely obsessed with control. There's control issues here. Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Hangman reverse. Somebody that is hiding something. 
struggling to let go, struggling to change, struggling to gain a new perspective. This person is unwilling to put in the work. Letting go. Somebody is letting go of something. You're, and maybe you're going to be let go or something. There's some sort of being let go or letting go. Free. Freedom. Freedom. Some sort of freedom. I don't know what is happening, but I feel like you, you have a huge cycle that is ending in your life with that world card. Whoever you're dealing with, is mo maybe they're moving on or they're going someplace and it breaks you free. I want to say freedom. I feel like you are definitely being broken free from something that you have been sacrificing yourself for. Now, now you, your new life begins now. It's almost like you're free. It's time to celebrate. Time to go out and have some fun. You're free. You're free. You're free. Whatever you're free of. I do believe you're going to be attending a get together in, in the near future. I don't know if it's a celebration or it's a party or something like that. Hmm. You're dealing with somebody that will not change, that ha will never, ever, 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 ever change. This is somebody that is extremely arrogant, egotistical. I feel like it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, honestly. Six of Wands, reverse, cocky, smug individual. This is some sort of disgrace. Definitely an overinflated ego. Six of Wands, reversed. This is a loss, losing a battle. No victory, no success. This is somebody that likes to fight. This person likes to fight. Even if they don't win, it's like they thrive on competition. Is there somebody that loves to compete with you? They do. They thrive on competition. But this is losing a battle. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's whoever you're dealing with. I feel like you're going to be gaining some sort of pleasure. And I hate to say that um, because your life is about to change. Okay, I think there's pleasure that is coming. It's like something to celebrate, something you, you've been hoping and praying for something. I feel like your wish is going to be granted. And I feel like you're headed towards stability with that Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be receiving an offer that is a surprise. It's probably a shock that, that uh, or you're going to, something to do with a home. You, it could be even family support with that Ten of Pentacles. There's some sort of support that is coming your way that is going to really, really surprise you. And there's freedom with that world card. It breaks you free from this troubled situation and helps you to move forward. Something to do with a home or a living situation. There's been a delay. There's been a delay in you getting this, whatever it is. There's been a delay with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. And I think there's been a delay because a new perspective was needed. Maybe you needed to learn some sort of lesson about yourself with the hangman, about who you are. The hangman is reversed. Maybe that's why there was a delay. Maybe you needed to go through a period of enlightenment or a period of awakening or you had to go through this struggle to learn some sort of lesson. You did. But now, but now I feel like you are about to move into the next phase of your life and it's you're breaking free from some this is totally breaking free from something that is very toxic could be a toxic behavior could be a codependent situation could be drugs could be drinking could be eating could be a partnership a codependency this is breaking free it is taking back control 
I mean, the devil reversed is suffering. You must free yourself. This is freedom in breaking yourself free. So you are getting broken free from a toxic situation. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. I do feel like it is bittersweet, though. I do feel like it's bittersweet. Because there's a loss involved. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. Somebody may be, may, be, may be making an escape, you know. They may be making an escape or they're, they're, they're taking the high road. They're leaving, you know. And, you know, you, this, what, whatever, whatever's happening, it breaks you free. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. There's definitely overdoing it. Moderation is needed. I feel like we have somebody here that's overdoing it. They're getting caught. Somebody could end up being punished with the hangman reverse. I'm just saying. I do see police. The police could be getting involved. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. I just looked at the, looked at the clock and it was 2555, 2555. Expect the unexpected. Your life is about to change. And it's going to change for the better. But it comes after a conflict. A cycle is ending and you are stepping into new territory. Wherever you're going, there is abundance. There is abundance and there's security and there's long-term success to be had. You, this struggle that you have been through is over. It's over. It's like it's yours. It's yours. It's like it's yours. The, the freedom, the money, the abundance, whatever. You deserve it. You, you made it. You learned a lesson. You persevered. This lesson, what the hell is this lesson? I think this lesson has to do with moderation. It has to do with self. It has to do with self-enlightenment. You know, who you are, spiritual awakening. Whatever you went through has caused your spiritual awakening. It's built your character. Anyway, you are about to step into a whole new life, a whole new you. I mean, you are. You've evolved. A lesson has learned that has caused your evolution. Congratulations. Something good is coming your way. It's big. It's huge. It really is. Your perseverance has paid off. It really has. You're free. You're free, you're free, you're free. I don't know what this freedom is, but you're free, you're free. You're free to go out and have fun. Good luck. Mm. I don't know if you heard me say good luck, so I'm going to say it again. 